Okay, notice I got the screws and the plate removed. So what you're gonna do is come to the front of it and I'll just grab it right here and pull it forward and lift it up at the same time. And then you could get it to raise up. And the problem with these is why it's shaking is because of these four suspension rods here. One in each corner. And if you watch the machine, you could see where the bounce is coming from. If you could notice, that bounce is in the back right. That's going to be my problem area. But once I correct the back this side, it's going to go to the next weakest point. So we're just going to go ahead and do all four with the trick that I'm going to show you. Once you get those off, you could slide the lid just about a half an inch forward and lift up and it will release. We're going to slide the panel forward and lift it up and set it against the wall so we have access to the suspension rods. Lean the lid back and then reach down and grab the bottom of the suspension rod where it's connected to the tub. You don't have to replace that plastic. And here what I want to show you with these suspension rods is how Samsung had a recall on over 6 million machines. Well, what they did was they just refurbished the spring systems on it um, by putting rubber uh, as like a damper. So I do the same thing, um, but I do it myself and I just repair the suspension rods. But you can't just do one, you'll have to do all four because once you fix one, then another one will get weak and, and so on and so on. So just go ahead and do all four really quickly. And what I use is a piece of a water hose um, that's, that's perfectly the size um, on the inside of that spring. And when I'm taking off and installing the suspension rods, it's harder if you grab the suspension rod and try to lift up the drum of the washing machine. It's better if you reach down and there's a lip on the side where the suspension rod connects. That's where you put your hand and lift up and, it, and you have a lot of control and you can do it much easier. And like I said, just do one or two at a time, go all the way around, do all four, and then just put it back together um, and we'll do diagnostic mode. If you're not in, if you're not familiar with diagnostic mode, that's just like factory resetting it. It's suggested that you factory reset it every time you pretty much work on it. What this washing machine was doing was it was banging around really loudly and it was actually walking around. It actually this machine had walked across the room so far and so crazy that it um, unplugged the exhaust water coming out of the back and it flooded this poor lady's house and when I shot this video and took these pictures it was almost a year ago so um, this little trick that I do it holds up really well it's just like the heating element trick that I have as well um, I don't replace heating elements they're pretty costly like these sus suspension rods are so I just refurbish them Okay, since I got a little bit of time left on this video while this plays out, let me tell you about these washing machines right here in particular. They're really common. They have the six lights on them, the sensing, you know, washing, rinsing lights. Um, they're green. These are called VMW Vertical Modular Washing Machines. Um, they're owned, it's owned by Kenmore and Whirlpool Corporation, who is, you know, Maytag and all of those as well. Um, these are the worst machines, I, I believe. I hate these machines the most. They have it down to a science on these. Um, the life expectancy uh, before 2009 on washers and dryers was 20 to 30 years. After 2009 with these all these digital models and these front loaders, they took the life expectancy down to 
three to five years and with these BMW washing machines they have it down to a science it the, the thing breaks at just at three years in one month right after the warranty's up um, I hate these they're, they're nothing but problems so if yours is more than three years old th three to five and um, you probably want to replace it pretty soon well hopefully this video was able to help you get your washer going if you liked it make sure to hit the subscribe button and give me a thumbs up thanks